Hey there, my spooky, scary skeletons. It's Glow in Real Life, and welcome back to another episode of my Halloween Spectacular. Today, I am going to be trying these Halloween-themed Japanese snacks. I'm super excited to try these because I am going to Japan November 1st. It's like, it's less than a month now. I'm so excited, um, but I'm really excited to try these, and it's gonna get me ready for one Halloween and Japan, and I love it, so. Let's get tasting. So first we are going to try these Hucho Soft Candies. They are very similar to Haichu, which I know is becoming more popular in America. And they're usually packaged like a Starburst where they're individually wrapped and stacked on top of each other. And these are in a bag and they're just like soft, chewy candy, very similar to a Starburst. And it has little gummy pieces inside. And so I'm very excited to try these because it looks like there's multiple flavors. So let's open it up. I just want to say I love the packaging. It's super cute. And this guy right here is my favorite on the packaging. He says that the gummies have kindness taste. I tried to translate it through Google Translate. And yeah, these gummies have kindness taste. So I'm excited to try them. So let's open it up. The little tear tabs are at the bottom so you don't wreck the cute packaging on the top. Whoa, okay. This smells so good. It smells a lot like if you cut open a granny sniff as a granny sniff, a granny smith apple and then like smelled it. That's what this smells like, with like a hint of grape juice. So I am so excited to try these, and oh my goodness, hold on, let's dump some out. Look at how cute these little packaging are. Look at how cute the packaging is, and on the back it has little pumpkin faces. And this one is a little devil. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then they have the little witch, or wizard guy. And then there's the silver thing. So let's open that up, what is this? mystery treat. It's a little temporary tattoo of the little, the little gummy guy. Oh my gosh, he's a spider. That is awesome. So not only do you get candy, you also get like temporary tattoos along with it. So the first one I'm going to try is this flavor. I'm not too sure what it is, but there it is, it's a little wizard guy. So let's try it. I am hoping it's green apple, but I think this is the red grape flavor. Because there's red grape, white grape, orange, and apple. So I believe this is just the normal red grape flavor. So here it is. It's very similar to a Starburst, and then it has a little gummy piece inside. It smells exactly like grape juice, and so let's try it. Mmm. It is super, super soft and chewy. It's not like hard at all, and I love that. It's just so satisfying. And the grape taste is exactly like the Japanese grape flavor. It's super natural and I love it. This is the white grape. So let's try it. That was really good. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if it's the, I'm pretty sure it's the white grape. Because I, I know like apple taste. And I haven't had white grape candy before, so this is a little unfamiliar, so I think I'm going to go with the white grape flavor. Um, it's really good. It tastes similar to, it's, it tastes natural, and that's what I love about Japanese candy, is it's not super artificial and like in-your-face flavor. It's just like subtle and refreshing and natural tasting. So this is really good. So the next one I am going to try is the orange flavor. 
So here it is. So let's try it. Again, natural and refreshing. It tastes like orange juice. I found an apple one. The packaging does not like say that there's specific flavors, so you don't know which one you're gonna get. So I found the apple flavor, which I am most excited for because I love, I love apple. So good, so let's try it. Mmm. So good. It tastes a lot like a Granny Smith apple. These, this one's my favorite. All right, so the next treat we are going to try is a collaboration between Lotte and Sebastian Musuda. He is a huge person in Japan. He um, is a icon in kawaii pop culture. He created a cafe that I'm totally going to go to when I'm in Japan called the Kawaii Monster Cafe. The theme of it is very similar to that of the art on this box. And he created a clothing store called 6% Doki Doki. That is super popular in Japan, which I'm also going to visit because I love kawaii fashion. You guys know this. And I am super excited to try this. Again, we just appreciate the art on this box because it is so cute and colorful and... I love it. Here is the back, and there is Mr. Sebastian. The sides have art on it, and I'm excited to show you how this opens. It opens like a little monster mouth. It looks like the little teeth on the side. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> And so inside there is the little box and there's little squirrels on the packaging. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why, but I think it's super cute that there's little squirrels. And this pie smell, the little pies smell amazing. So here they are. I'm going to take this little packaging out. It opens up. How did, I think I might have done it wrong. Or I did it right. I did it right. So you open it from the sides and it totally just unwraps to reveal your little chocolate pies. So here is the little pie. It almost reminds me of a little burger because it's all stacked up. And apparently the chocolate filling is on the inside. So I'm excited to try it. So let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay. So... Here's the inside. I was not expecting it to be super like flaky with the chocolate in the middle. It's really interesting and it's really good. Um, my only thing is it's a little messy and I see why they give you the box now to catch the crumbs. Um, but other than that, I'm a pretty big fan. I would definitely recommend these. All right, so unfortunately I did not have enough time to finish the other two snacks, but don't worry, I won't just leave you guys hanging. I will be making a part two of trying Japanese Halloween snacks. Stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be pretty cool and I'm excited to try those because they look really tasty. But I really like these. The Pucho candies were so, so tasty. I absolutely love them. My favorite out of the Pucho was probably either the white grape or the apple, but all of the flavors were just so good. I absolutely loved the chocolate pies. I thought that they were adorable and the art on the box. The box, the packaging is just so cute and adorable and it's making me so excited to go to the Kawaii Monster Cafe cannot wait. So I just want to let you know that he, Mr. Sebastian, has also uh, partnered with Lotte nine, for nine different treats. And so if you see any that are similar like this in the art style, be sure to check them out because they're really cool and they are called Enjoy Halloween Kawaii. 
So definitely check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh, comment down below what your favorite Halloween treat is because I want to know. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my Halloween Spooktacular playlist with more spooky videos like this one. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to stay spooky. Bye! And hold on, I have to do just one thing. Because we have fun here on Chloe IRL. Oh, it's not closing. There we go. I had to.